आई वुड लाइक थॉट दैट वाह क्या फिल्म बनाई है एंटरटेनिंग थी बड़ी अच्छी फिल्म थी सबको देखनी चाहिए I'm not one of those people, and I've said this many a times. Who would like to lie about a fact in my life? Um, I will not take a rumor, but I will not lie about a fact. I know I can do a runway, and I can do a de de pyar de, and then I can do a cut putli, and I can do a doctor ji. Hello, this is Srijita Sen from News 18 Shosha, and today we have with us the gorgeous Rahul Preet Singh. You have recently seen her in the trailer of Doctor G, and today we are going to talk to her about her film and a lot more. So let's welcome Rahul Preet. Hi, Rahul. How are you? Very good. How are you? I am fine. I am fine. So I must say, you look gorgeous in the trailer, and your character seems like a very cool and quirky character. So I'll just begin with that. Tell us something about the role we will be seeing you. So I play the role of Dr. Fatima, who okay. is uh, uh, obviously a gynec gynecologist. She's studying to be a gynec, and uh, very, very uh, sorted in her head, very um, uh, aware of what she's doing. Uh, somebody who respects her job. She's very liberal with her thoughts, if I can say so. And she is also a, a reason why, um, when you see the film, you'll know, you know, uh, how she brings. uh aishman into understanding um uh, his love for being a gynec you know initially from a job that he doesn't want to do to doing a job so i think dr fatima is a very well written character very quirky very sassy and uh, you'll a lot of people will relate to the character also a lot of college students will for sure um and uh, yeah rest you will know when you watch the film dr fatima also one one particular trait is that i had to learn is that she speaks in very saaf hindi jo lucknowi hindi hoti hai na with correct nuktas with speaking like her the right way ghalib and all of that so uh, uh, so i had diction classes for that uh, and of course prep for being a gynec so it is a very different character that i've played So about the story, what was the most appealing or interesting part that you found that made you say yes to it? I think the fact that it is so new, it's touching upon something that of no film has been made on, and uh, it's a, a funny take. Uh, like, like it's treated with a lot of humor in an entertaining way. Um, it's something like I just said that every every youth will connect with because you know it's got the college drama, campus drama, fun jokes that com that friendship, that camaraderie, um, uh, and uh, senior, junior, all all those things. So a lot of your definitely. definitely the youth will connect and it's also a film that you can watch with your family so it's not that they will not understand it so i think the the whole entertainment package that it is with an undertone of a message is what excited me you know a film like dr g or even say chhatri wale these are made on very important topics but whenever there are films on topics like say women sexual health or sex in general or periods there is a lot of unnecessary trolling a lot of unnecessary criticism so while picking a subject like this Do you ever go through a dilemma like, okay, this is an important film, but should I do it? Should I not do it? So, Padman was a film which was a very relevant film in Indian cinema, and it did very well and was appreciated a lot critically and box office wise. There, I don't remember any criticism, uh, and I have not. I would. I mean, I. I think the response for Doctor G's trailer has been very, very good. So I don't think we should feed this question because so far everything has been good. Uh, you know, we should not unnecessarily create that criticism when it is not there. Um, and uh, yeah, I just feel that the film is made for entertainment purpose, and when people watch the film, they will understand that there is nothing objectionable about it, um, and that's what it is. And that's that's a really good thing because like th that means that the audience's mindset is clearly changing. So that is definitely a good thing. Yeah, if you make a good film, audience will appreciate. If the film is not good, they will not appreciate. Got it. Correct. Right. Totally agree. And you know, the trailer uh, it also through humor it shows a lot. It points towards a lot of important things like women are feeling shy talking to a male doctor or talking about their problems, and this kind of implies that there's a lot of taboo around this subject. So maybe you know, in your personal life, while growing up, or even now. Have you ever come across people who always tell you things like, "Oh, you are going to a guy, me go to a female one, or go to a uh, go with a female relationship"? No, I I tell you, 
I'll tell you when I was a teenager and I didn't know any better. Even I felt shy. There was a time that I had to go to a male gynec, and I felt very shy. I said, you know, how am I going to let this person examine? Because you are a thirteen, fourteen year old, you know, and um, uh, and 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 I did feel shy. But now, when I look back, and obviously when I grew older and you know wiser, I I realize that that's not how you look at it, and that's the conversation. Even when you see the trailer, we speak about the male touch and the doctor's touch. um and some of the apparently as per the statistics some of the best top uh, gynecs in the country are male gynecs so uh, that's what we are trying to say that you know a doctor is a doctor and that's how it needs to be viewed and the taboo around it needs to be broken because sexual health is a very important part of one's being um and unfortunately we don't talk about it as much but it is a part of your body like anything else like a heart like a brain <laughs> so uh, so the reproductive system is also a part of your body and it needs to be viewed as simply as that that's a great answer so you know uh, that brings me to the last uh, set of my questions so you have an interesting lineup of films that all the films seem different from each other so is it a conscious different to pick up projects where you get to play different characters and are not typecast in the same kind of role and people get to see your different shades as an actor is it conscious decision or something that that just happened naturally see it's a little bit of both um uh, yes i want to do different things i want to show my versatility i know you know you always believe in yourself and you want people to believe in you i know i can do a runway and i can do a dede pyar de and then i can do a katputli and i can do a dr g so i can do glamorous and i can do this but unless i show it to people they won't really see that and so that is the idea behind it but then um i cannot deny the fact that i've been lucky also to get those scripts because i can only choose from what i get so i'm 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 grateful that i've ha- got those opportunities to showcase a versatility and i really hope that people uh, like it and appreciate it and you know uh, besides your film and your work you also sometimes make headlines for maybe your personal life or your relationship status so does that sometimes bother you that okay why, i have so many films lined up but why is why are people just interested in this aspect of my life does that does that it doesn't bother because i no it doesn't bother because i don't read it see i okay. choose to i chose to speak about it i am not one of those people and i've said this many a times who would like to lie about a fact in my life um i will not take a rumor but i will not lie about a fact uh and it is as normal for anybody to have a partner that is the normal human progression <laughs> so uh so i spoke about it when i had to and that's about it i don't go around looking after looking at every news article because at the end of the day i believe my work should speak for me and that will because i don't like to keep talking about my relationship and now coming back to dr g my last question for you so what is the one important message you would like everyone watching the film to take from it well i would like a thought that wa kya film banaiye entertaining thi badi achhi film thi sabko dekhni chahiye i think this is a thought they should leave the theater with i would like like summing it up all uh, i would just say that it is a film which has got great actors there's shifali shah and there's ayushman and and i was very happy with the kind of response we got from the trailer where people said that uh, ayushman's back in his element and people like to watch him doing different kind of roles like this and he's proven it you know with some big successes in these different dabbling genres um so i am we are very happy with that kind of response and we really hope that everybody connects with the film love and the trailer was really amazing so i really hope people like this because it's very important humor is important but telling important stories are also important so all the best for the release of dr g and thank all you. your upcoming projects and it was lovely thank you. you have a great likewise day. thank you